Hello Virgos. All right, let's get started. So in the center, we have this card that in this deck is called Life Renewed. And it's the equivalent of the Judgment card. It's, it's such a beautiful card coming up in the center. It's, it's basically like you're being gifted a new beginning in some way. So let me look at the cards surrounding to see what this is related to, and I'll most likely come back to that card as it is central. All right, let me look at the top row, and because we have two major arcana there as well. There is the Hierophant on the top left, and on the top right is the card called Shadow Dance, which is the equivalent of the Devil. And then in the center is the Three of Wands. So I'm seeing, I'm feeling like there is a lot of potential to spend some time planning things this month because it feels like try try your best at the beginning of the month to get your ducks in a row because I get the sense that things could get a little bit chaotic if you don't do that. So what I'm what I'm sensing here is a couple things like the the seven of wands, which is this this woman below the hierophant with these branches, these kind of thorny branches. And for me, this is about defenses and I'm, I'm picking up on a little bit of immunity stuff, too. I feel like if you if you're not careful to manage your time for whatever reason, for a lot of you, it feels like a hectic month work wise. So if you're not careful to really manage your time and plan things, I get the sense that you may, you know, you might catch a cold or something like that. Do your best to take vitamins if that's what you do to protect or whatever it is that you do to protect even energetically because I, I'm sensing a little bit of vulnerability. What's interesting though is that having that life renewed card in the center which really feels very healthful, um, it feels like a very bright young healthy card is that even if it happens that you are down for a while like with a cold or something like that I feel like it is kind of needed time to rest and that what comes out of that is that renewal so part of the being defensive part of protecting and putting up defenses could be that you know you, you maybe you don't catch a cold but you force yourself to take some downtime that could be part of the, the planning that I'm picking up on forcing yourself to take some downtime to prevent that from happening because it seems like regardless some rest is very much needed on the physical level but also on the mental level because I'm seeing this four of cups and it's that that shadow dance card is is on the top right and the four of cups is here on the bottom left and they feel connected to me it feels like because the devil card can definitely be about going overboard with physical anything physical so it could just be it could even be work like physical exhaustion it tends to be more pleasurable things but for you in this reading it feels like it could even be overworking yourself just kind of really spreading yourself too thin in many ways and it could even be that some of you are, are working very hard and playing hard and again I get the sense that there's a need for downtime and especially if you want to prevent yourself from from catching a cold but also just for mental relaxation and to bring yourself that renewal give give that gift to yourself is kind of what I'm picking up on and I the four of cups can also be about overindulgence in the same way it can it can relate to things like addictions or drinking so for some of you the warning could be within that but I really again I'm picking up on work stuff that may also be kind of grating at you emotionally and I feel that there is definitely a message to get some rest there so I want to come to these two court cards looking at this this page of Pentacles which is in the center right and then below it is the king of swords with both the Hierophant in the top left corner and this King of Swords in the bottom right, 
I feel that I, I feel for for a lot of you that what you do for work could be very mental, very cerebral. And I see this King of Swords looking away, and I, I do feel that it's you, this reading. And I'm getting the sense that there is a little bit of wanting to, to run away, and it's very much related to that need for rest. I also get the sense, though, that you, you're not sure how to do that, that you're looking for a way to make that happen, an escape. I'm just, I'm sensing like a need for escape. And I also feel that there may be a conversation that needs to happen between these two people. So I don't, I don't always pick up on the Hierophant as a person, but I, I do feel that there may be a mentor. It could be a male mentor, a teacher, even a counselor, possibly a religious figure, someone that, that could be consulted with about, it, it definitely feels like work or, or personal life, but something that's been draining you and making you feel like, see this four of cups in the bottom left, she's kind of just basically swimming in her emotions, wallowing, it could also be wallowing. There could be something going on with you at the emotional level that it doesn't feel very recent, but it's just kind of hanging around and it doesn't feel like, like you want it to feel like this, this judgment card here, this life renew, this life renewed, this newness, this refreshment, it kind of feels like but I feel like you haven't quite been getting there. And I do get the sense that speaking to someone could be a very important thing for you. But I do see you looking away and your sword is down. And that can also be about vocalizing and speaking. So I get the sense that you're not coming forward about something and that that is definitely what you're recommended to do is to come forward. And if it can't be coming forward to like if it relates to another person, possibly this page of pentacles it could be a child of yours or it could be someone who's an earth sign, someone younger. It doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign. What I pick up on from the card is someone, I, I feel this energy of someone asking a lot of you, depending on you for their stability. And I feel that that's really weighing on you. So that's definitely going to be a child for some of you. And the, the Four of Wands card, too, we have that kind of home base feeling. And I see you kind of turning away from all of it. I feel that I, I talked about work a lot at the beginning, but I really feel like this could be about home life for some of you in the same regard, being overworked, being drained on the home front and really needing to manage things a little bit differently, protect yourself. But it seems like instead that maybe what some of you have been doing is just kind of this looking away and not coming forward about it. And again, I really feel that there's someone really powerful, really, really strong with a great, great mentality, a great sense of giving and groundedness in this Hierophant figure that you could speak to. And if you don't feel like there's a person like that in your life right now, it could even be that seeking out a, a counselor, someone that you can speak to would be helpful. And I see that life renewed card in between you. So I really feel like that's part of what this person could give you. Ultimately, it will be something that you give yourself. But I really sense that this person could help you even just being a sounding board, someone to hear what it is that you have to say. So for some of you, it's just kind of opening up about what's been going on, about feeling drained about certain things. But some of you also could be really holding on to a very specific truth about something. And I do still feel that link to this page of pentacles. It's also linked to that devil card, the shadow dance. And so the, the overindulgence or the, that feeling of kind of the someone dwelling a little bit more in their dark side could be this page of pentacles definitely a child energy or a teenager but it could also be someone else in your life it could be a friend or even a partner i'm not really picking up too much on a romantic partnership if, if it is that it feels like maybe something that is kind of at the end of the road or something like that it, there's too much of this neediness and 
it feels like if it is romantic, the, the bloom is off the rose. I'm not really feeling like a lot of that, that comfortable partnership. So that could be the case for some of you, but most likely a child or someone else in your life, some other kind of relative or friend who has been kind of, like I said, dwelling more on that, that shadow side of themselves, that darker side, indulging in things that may not be too good for them. And that could even just be emotions, like um, they could be wallowing and th there could be something that you need to come forward about in terms of that person. It may even be a concern about an addiction or something like that. That, And so that, that coming forward, that kind of like sheathing your sword could actually be like, sort of an intervention or something along those lines. Definitely a need to, to protect this person. And I feel that that person also needs that renewal, that healing. And so that, that, that addiction energy does feel pretty strong for this other person. So the message, the, the strongest messages really are con connecting with that Hierophant. But I like that the life renewed card came up in the center rather than the Hierophant, for example, because like I said, ultimately it's going to be you that, that, that renews yourself, that gives yourself this new life by trying to manage things, definitely by coming forward and giving yourself the time to rest rather than just kind of turning away and hiding or burying your, your thoughts and feelings. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments. Take care.